Let's talk now about an ILS or instrument landing system to get us into the airport. With an instrument landing system, what you'll have on the runway is two separate transmitters, a localizer transmitter and a glide slope transmitter. What the localizer transmitter is giving you is the left-right guidance to get you in on the center line of the runway. And the glide slope is giving you the descent guidance to get you down to the runway threshold in the clouds. Notice that it's kind of like a funnel going down towards the runway, and that's going to get, those courses are going to get more and more sensitive as you get closer to the airport runway. That's why an ILS is so precise, but also why it's a little bit tough to fly. Now, unlike a VOR, the localizer only transmits one course on it. So it doesn't make any difference what you set in your omni-bearing selector when you're flying a uh, localizer course. The needle will simply center when you are in the center of that localizer course. It's automatic and you don't have any control over it. When you're flying the front course heading, when you're flying the front course part of the approach, the one with all the goodies on it and nice low minimums and so on, the shaded side of the localizer is going to be on your right. And that doesn't really matter as far as the actual flying is concerned, but it will matter to you to know that when you look at some orientation questions on the test trying to figure out where you are on the localizer. The shaded side will be on the right. Now the localizer is a lot more sensitive a transmitter than the VOR transmitter is. The width of the localizer is only five degrees wide total. That means that it's only two and a half degrees either side of the center line.